offshore wind gives Europe the capacity to meet the energy challenges that lie ahead. But we need to revolutionise not just the way we generate electricity, but the way that we deliver that electricity to consumers. The big difference between what we're about now and, and, and what's going to happen in the future is that wind energy and, and other forms of marine energies and solar energy has to be taken where those energies exist. So in the north, we're going to be taking most of our electricity uh, from wind, and in the south, we're going to be taking uh, most of our electricity from the sun, and they're going to be linked up uh, through a pan-European supergrid. An electricity grid uh, designed to carry electricity from remote areas uh, out at sea uh, to where the people will consume the electricity uh, in various concentrations in cities, towns, uh, on land. So it's a collection of cables and switching stations and routers and various arrangements uh, for carrying that electricity as cheaply as possible uh, to where the people will consume it. It's different, it's innovative, it's new, it hasn't been, this kind of grid has not been built before. Offshore wind does not belong to any one EU member state. It's a common resource that can be used for the benefit of everybody. Let's take a look at the technology that will allow us to share it across our borders. The supergrid will use innovative HVDC cables to move vast quantities of energy from the North Sea to centres of consumption all over Europe. HVDC technology allows us to push electricity much further and in larger quantities than has been possible with AC technology. Uh, for example, in China we're already sending thousands of megawatts, hundreds of kilometres. Supernodes, groundbreaking offshore converter stations, will link together multiple wind farms and plug Europe's existing energy networks into the supergrid. The plan is to build supernodes close to clusters of 500 megawatt wind farms. Our supernode design uses the advantages of both AC and high voltage DC to collect the renewable power and deliver it to the consumer. Power will be transported from a wind farm to the nearest supernode using high voltage AC. AC gives us maximum flexibility and efficiency over relatively short distances. Each supernode will have at least two and typically four AC to DC converter stations. The supernode will convert the power to HVDC, which gives us minimum losses over long distances. It will then be routed to its destination, which is a load centre on land, and then converted back to AC for distribution on the existing AC grids to the consumer. I think we will automatically come to this supergrid concept because I think it's the best way how to deal with the climate change and also solving security of supply. Such a type of supergrid is not a dream, it uh, really is something that could be calculated as a cost and could be implemented. That's why I think supergrid is so important. The supergrid is the platform on which we can build Europe's energy future, an EU-wide network that will harness our offshore wind and allow us to share and trade all forms of electricity across our borders, connecting individual countries to a vast and sustainable energy resource uniting our fragmented energy market and changing the way Europe makes, transmits and consumes electricity for generations to come. Time is not on our side. Europe needs to act fast. We have just 40 years to turn the supergrid from a blueprint into a reality. Nobody should be under any misapprehensions. We have to do this. We can't rely on anybody else to give us our energy by 2050.